Are you looking for a home in Italy like we are? We have found the cutest one bedroom, two bath in a quaint Italian town called Picciano. It has about 1200 square feet, a cute backyard with olive trees, and the best part is this amazing terrace. Look at that view. So if you wanna see more about this property, let's take a look. All right, so just a few quick details about the property. Under $100,000, 96,000 US. Just under 1,200 square feet, a one bedroom, two bath, that has a flex space that you could really use for an office or probably make it into a small bedroom as well. So where's this town located? Let's take a look. It's a little bit north and a little bit east of Rome. Look at that quaint hillside Italian town. And that really shows how adorable the town is. This is a picture from a neighboring little village. So let's take a look inside the town itself. So one thing I love about this shot is the stone streets. Beautiful. The arches, so pretty, the brick. I wish I was that person right there. <laughs> Me too. This is a shot of the church in town. Uh, it took us a very long time to find a church in Italy, um, but here's what happens to be one of three churches in Italy is actually in this town. <laughs> and here's a shot of all the restaurants that are not only in town, but also within a 15 minute drive. So everything within that darker blue area. And there are three within walking distance. One is only 300 feet away from the property and it looks spectacular. This is a shot of that restaurant. Uh, from the front, it looks a bit unassuming until you go through the doors and you see this beautiful view. I can see myself with my wife drinking wine right there. Cheers, Cheers to that. Oops, I'm out, I'm gonna get some more. Oh. With the magic of editing, my glass will be full. And we're back with a full glass of wine. Salute. Uh, this is another shot of the restaurant. It looks beautiful. I definitely want to go there. Absolutely. And then this is one of the local pizzerias. It looks spectacular. And I could definitely smell the pizza already. There it is. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I'll have that. So when you're done eating delicious Italian food, the next place you wanna go is a bar. So there looks to be two bars in town, um, and within the 15 minute radius, there looks to be at least a dozen others. So uh, we look forward to checking those out. And here's a picture of one of the bars that's pretty close to town. Look at the view even there. Yeah. Mountains everywhere. Love it. There isn't a winery in town, however, there's one about four minutes away, so look at that. Ooh. That is gorgeous. I can definitely drink some wine there. Salute. <laughs> and then if you don't want to eat out every night or go to the bars, there are two grocery stores in town, which is really nice. So this is a within a 15 minute walk, the little dark space that's there, but then you can see all the red dots on the outskirts. Those are also grocery stores within a 15 minute drive, which is great. Hopefully you won't need one of these, uh, but there are two doctors in town and there looks to be about a dozen within a 15 minute radius. Doctor. 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 And doctor. And then if you have to go to the hospital, which hopefully you do not, there is a large hospital about 15 minutes away. Tooth pain is miserable. So you want to make sure that uh, there's a dentist close by. So again, I don't know what it is with the dozen, but there seems to be about a dozen dentists within a 15 minute radius. So that's good. And a pharmacy. In case you need anything filled, there is one in town, which is really nice. So when you leave the winery, you wake up the next day, have a hangover, you can go there and get some Advil. All right, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> uh, the veterinarian. Not everybody cares about this, but we have two little fur babies and this is definitely important for us. So there's a few within the 15 minute radius and then also there's a 24 hour emergency super close as well, which we like to have. Absolutely. 
in the town of Picciano, there is a park. This is the view from the park, so. Ooh, not bad. I don't even say anything about it. No, <laughs> it's Except for itself. Salute. <laughs> Cause that's what I'll be doing at the park. <laughs> Do they have open container walls? And I don't know, we'll figure oh, it out. We need to research that. Check out our next video, we'll let you know about open container walls. <laughs> so schools, we don't have any kiddos, but there is a preschool in town. And then all of the red dots that you see, those are other schools within that 15 minute drive. Napoleon, give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. So the other great thing about this property is that we're within 30 minutes of multiple beaches. That's great. There's a shot of the beach. There's also hiking close by, and in the winter, they're skiing. Chinese downhill, 40 bucks a man, winner takes all. Okay, so let's get into the property. This is a shot from the back with the terrace that you guys have seen before. Here is a blurry floor plan, but at least it's a floor plan. The best so, we could get. Yeah, it is. So let's start at the main entrance, which is right here. So this is what you see when you first walk through the front door. One of the things we always look at, floors and ceilings. These look like the original floors. Super pretty. The ceilings have beams. I don't know if you could expose any terracotta tiles, but it's still a really cute space. And it looks like it's sizable too, considering it's not a huge property. So here's another shot from the kitchen. Um, you can see the front door that you just walked through. And lo and behold, there's a fireplace. Cheers to that. Yay! You can see from this uh, a, a wide shot of the beautiful floors. That's something we really look for. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't like new updated tile. If we're going to Italy, we want, you know, the real deal. You can get that in the States. Absolutely. And look at that cute view. Absolutely. And then this is just another shot from the other side of the room. Again, look at the view. That looks like you're in Italy, right? Yep. So the kitchen might need a little bit of updating. It's got a cooktop. We noticed there's no oven, but that would be easy to install. Um, I could see us probably doing a backsplash and maybe swapping out the countertops. The cabinets look like they're in good condition, but obviously until you actually see stuff in person, you're not 100% sure, but it's usable. Absolutely. And look at that there's gas uh, we like cooking with gas yep. as do a lot of people that's true okay back to the floor plan so we walk through this front door this is where the fireplace is this is where the gas stove is so if you continue through if you come in here and take a right we get to a bathroom a nice full bath looks like it's renovated really nice to have it on the first floor too that's one of the things we noticed a lot in that main living area, there usually isn't a bathroom, and in this property, there is a full bath, which is great. Looks uh, clean and crisp, which we like. So coming from this bathroom, uh, you can see straight across the hallway is a storage room. Um, if you come out here and take a right, you are now into the living space. Again, the floors are carried throughout. A decent sized little living space, nice windows, now we're talking. Uh, mm. Take a look out those windows. You can see the view from the terrace. I want some of that, please. So pretty. There's another shot of the living room. Um, you can see a bit of the view. Um, there's a radiator in there. I guess it's gonna get cold and you want some heat. Yep, it's true. There's radiators throughout actually, which is nice. Yep. And here it is, the happy hour tower. Woohoo! Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, look at the brick on the outside, the terrace. So here's another shot of the terrace. You could fit at least six people out here comfortably, drinking some wine, eating some food, looking at the view, living your life. I think it's a great thing for sure. On your deathbed, you will receive total consciousness. So here's another view from the terrace. You can see the cute backyard. It needs a little TLC, but it has some nice olive trees. And can you get over that view? It's pretty spectacular. Love it. You noticed when she said TLC, she looked at me. I don't know what that means, but I've been married for 18 years to this beautiful woman. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna take care of the backyard. She knows I love it. All right, back to the floor plan. Here in the living room, there's a set of stairs that go down into this bedroom. Woo! 
Look at those ceilings, man. Wow. That's what we look for. Yeah, absolutely. The barrel vault ceilings, beautiful. You can see over here we have a closet, and over here we have a door to a, are you ready for it? Another full bath. That's unbelievable in Italy most of the time. I've seen seven bedrooms and one bath. This is a one bedroom, two bath, so I think it's uh, perfect. It is, with a washing machine. And look at the ceilings in that picture too. Same as the bedroom, so Absolutely. pretty. Absolutely. So when you're exiting the bathroom, you can see there's a door to the right, and that goes to the outside, then the door to the left, or that entrance to the left, or the archway to the left, whatever you want to call it, um, is the flex space that we were talking about earlier. It looks like it's set up to be an office already, but I think you could put a pull-out couch in there, use it for a spare bedroom, and then again, look at the view. So, how do you get there? It's not in the middle of nowhere. The main airport is 32 minutes away. Where we live in the States, the airport is 32 minutes away, and we live by a major city, so. Awesome. That's pretty spectacular for a small town in Italy. We want it. <laughs> also, there's a train station 40 minutes from the property. Which is so nice. You can get to Rome, you can get to Florence, a couple hours to Rome, five hours to Florence, and if you have a car, it's even shorter. Perfect. Let's talk about temps, baby. Let's talk about temps, baby. How hot we can be. <laughs> <laughs> what she means is we don't like to be too hot. Um, so looking at the summer months, highs are in the mid 80s and it looks like it gets down to the mid 60s. So it's not too bad. Where we are, um, it can be in the 90s and higher sometimes. Uh, Feels in the like 115. Yeah, sucks. Yeah. Ah! And I had to look. I just had to know because yes, I use Amazon in the States. Can you get Amazon in this small town in Italy? You can, and you can get two day delivery. I just did a random test ordering some hangers. Two days, that was pretty shocking to me. I thought for sure it would be more than that. We go to the mountains in North Carolina and it's five days in the States and it's, it's an hour from Charlotte. So I never thought I could get two day shipping in Italy, but that's a plus. She's never had Amazonesia before when a box shows up and she like, hey babe, what did you order? What do you say? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our checklist. These are things that are very important to us. Maybe not to everyone, but they are to us. So tell us though, if there's something that you think we're missing. Again, floors, ceilings, fireplace, AC, those are the things that we care about, but what are we missing? There has to be some stuff that's important to others. Okay, and here's the property information again for you guys. Uh, we'll let it sit here for five or 10 seconds so you can take a look uh, in the meantime. Salute. Hope to see you in Italy. So thanks for spending time with us looking at this property. Uh, we're gonna continue down our path and find properties that are interesting to us and hopefully interesting to you. So let us know if there's a town that you're interested in and we could research it some more. It's been a lot of fun doing this research and determining if Abruzzo is the right region for us. I think we're going to Tuscany next, right babe? Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. All right, take care guys. Bye. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.